a heated rivalry. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Chicago Cubs. 2K Sports presents MLB 2K10. Broadcasting live, 2K Sports presentation of Major League Baseball. Final days of spring here. From the National League Central, it's the Chicago Cubs taking on their arch rivals in town, the White Sox. So tonight, a look around this stadium, 41,000 strong. And our starting pitcher today, Carlos Zambrano. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Now this right-hander brings outstanding stuff to the mound every time he takes the ball against a lineup that can be somewhat of a challenge at times for pitchers, but if he's on top of his game, he should be able to shut them down. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. So who are you looking at, John? Well, one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Last yesterday for the Cubs, and they've got this game, more opportunities, playing a three-game series against Chicago. Zambrano with the delivery. Fastball swung out of miss, 0-1. And, and that last outing down by three. Yeah, and the offense just couldn't figure out a way to close the gap in this one. Cut fastball in the dirt for a ball. Oh. And Johnny Damon watches that one go by. The count is even. Big time offensive production last game out there. Three RBIs in that one. And I think some real momentum coming into this game. That ball swung on and hit. Fukudomi to field it. And it gets down. The streak is on. Now batting. For the Chicago White well, a good piece of hitting right there. And anytime you get your first hitter of the inning on base, it could set up the potential for a big inning. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. No one out and a runner on first. Ramirez will foul that one away. Oh, and one Zambrano kicks and deals. Hot shot towards the hole. Got a chance to check out the Cubs defense as they're out on the field. Thoughts, Steve? Anybody stand out? Derek Lee not only makes the routine plays, he makes the difficult plays. He has great range and great arm length as well. Be able to scoop the ball in the dirt or catch the high throw. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Here's the delivery. Fastball is high. 1-0. When you throw a two-seam fastball, you want a ground ball, which means you want to throw it to the bottom of the zone. This pitch up could come back to cost him later in the game. 1-0 now. That catches the inside part of the plate. 1-1. He must have been looking for an off-speed pitch in that situation because the fastball looked like it surprised him. Well hit towards the middle. Over to second for one. And two, they pull off the double play. Here's a look, 4-6-3 on the double play. Now that's the way they teach you, whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove and get rid of it. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on the first side is retired. But Carlos Zambrano out of the inning. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. And the Cubs, their first chance coming up. Mark Burley is going to be pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. As he gets going against these Cub hitters, what's in store? Well, it's South Paul on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. And when he's on, he's usually pretty darn good. But this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jam.
Here's the pitch to Soriano. Swing liner back up the middle. And the leadoff fans on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. There's the throw. Safe at second. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Blue Pinella's got. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, this team is going to hit and run in this game today. Look for Ryan Terrio to be the guy at bat when that situation occurs. He can handle the bat. He loves to hit behind runners. And he does still hit for a pretty good average for a guy that gives himself up on selfishly for his team. Now, a quick look for this game with the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Steve, keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. Derek Lee at the plate. National League batters generates a lot of runs in the top five. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Ground ball headed for the middle, and he scoops it up. That's one out. And two. Double play. Execution on that 6 4 3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. Runner at third, looking for Aramis Ramirez to get him in. Here's the pitch. It's swung on, hit by Ramirez. Damon. And that's out number three. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. He'll start it off here in the second. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Zambrano. 0 and 1. Well, that two seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center oh. that ball and make solid contact. That time he couldn't even make any contact. Now he swings. Hits this one high in the air. Deep left center field. And they get the first run of the ball game. That solo shot, that is a big fly ball. 1-0. Now, Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after him. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Line towards second. Baker. So Rios is sent down. It's going to be Krasinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Hit hard to second. Baker. Two away. And here's Martinez. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Base is empty and two down. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Zambrano. 0 and 1. And that's a strike. Mark Tien's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Now coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he. There's a swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep into right field. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 27, Jim Tillman. Two outs and nobody on. And it's a called strike to Tillman. He's gone five for 15 lifetime off Carlos Zambrano. 
Lined right at the second baseman. And he's there to retire the sign. They love to be able to put early pressure on picking up some runs here in the second. The White Sox have the lead two to nothing. The five six seven hitters coming up. And it's Giovanni Soto. Number 18, Giovanni Soto. Pitch on the way. Plays off that one outside 1-0. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And that's going to be a base hit for Soto. That'll bring up Jeff Baker. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Line drive left of the bag and foul. And he fouls another one off. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. And that's another foul ball. Curve ball, thought he had him, but it's one and two. One two pitch coming. Swing and a hot shot, and he's got it. And there's one. On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. He delivers, and that's hit. Damon to field. Two men have been put away. And here are the standings in the Central Division as found on our State Farm standing board. Plenty of time still left in the season. It's the Cubs in first, the Reds second place, the Brewers third place, in the fourth spot, the Cardinals, the Pirates fifth, and wrapping up the list, the Astros. Well, the Cubs came into this season without a chance to surprise anybody. They were expected to lead this division, and to their credit, they're getting it done. Oh, nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. A big breaker gets by. Count goes to one and two. Still one and two. The one-two pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The Cubs still looking for that offense. One of the most famous parks and a gorgeous day weather-wise here at Wrigley. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Right there in the top five in home runs. First pitch on the way to Damon. Damon will foul that one away. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. The deep right center. This one rolls through to the wall. So with nobody out, he's awarded second after that double. Well, this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this and good hustle also to get to second base. Now, still three outs to go. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one to Soriano. That Damon heads for third. The team leaders for batting average with runners in scoring position brought to you by State Farm. The White Sox number one, the Yankees second, the Blue Jays third, fourth the Red Sox, and the Mariners fifth. Well, the thing is a manager and a hitting coach you look. Swung on, line to right field. One bounce onto the wall. At 
at the and the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Right fielder, number 20, Carlos Quinton. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And there's a swing, a drive down the left field line. It's towards the corner, over the wall, a two-run home run. Well, they're going to have to start thinking about backing some of these hitters off. They're looking very comfortable. Three home runs so far today. You can survive home runs, but you start getting to this number, and you're going to be in trouble even if they're solo. Yeah, you're right. At the White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 50, Gordon Beckham. One out, nobody on. First pitch to him. And Zambrano gets it by. Called strike on one. And we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs, they are piling up in this game and so early. And that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now or this game could get out of control. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. This one to Bird. No problem for him. That's an easy one. And coming up for the Cubs, number one game left for the White Sox. That's tomorrow. They'll stay right there for the next set of games. The Oakland Athletics. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then they'll be going against Torrey Hunter and the Angels, a team that will definitely give them a competitive series. So quite a few home games they'll be looking to capitalize. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. And he starts Rios out. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Zambrano. 0 and 1. Well, right there, you can just tell that the hitter was absolutely fooled on that pitch. Nothing you can do. You try to reach out and just put it in play, but he swung through it. That swung on on a liner here. And it's caught by Ramirez. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. Baseball's familiar faces, including that of Lou Piniella. He knows very well the pitching is a knot out there on the hill. It's not been close to what they needed in this ball game. So they're going to have to count on some big at-bats. Kosuke Fukudomi to lead it off. And now time is called. And they're coming out of the dugout and heading to the mound. Now you don't know how long he's going to stay with this pitcher. You're going to have to wait and see what they decide. He may be done. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll just keep it himself, tagged him for the out. And here are the standings in the Central Division, as found on our State Farm standing board. Plenty of time still left in this season. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. The Tigers, fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before. And now they're doing everything right. Lined right at the second baseman. Back I'm able to pull that one in. Right fielder. Number 23. And we've got Bird batting. Base is empty and two down. Burley with a delivery. Too far outside. One and oh.
Here's the 1 0. And he looks at a change up in there, 1 and 1. Oh, he just plain old fooled him right there. He must have been looking for something else. Hit his spot perfectly with that change. Up. Here's the 1 1. A smash towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Canerco's there. So Mike Burley gets him 1 2 3. He has a shutout through three innings of work. And it'll be the White Sox. Leading it off, A.J. Pruszynski. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. And here's the first one. Swung and a fly ball. No, that one is foul. Swung on line to right center field. Streak continues. That gets in. Now let's take a moment to see how the Cubs are doing rank-wise in the National League. First in ERA, second in home runs. And they're the number two team in slugging percentage, which goes a long way to driving in runs because it allows you to drive in runners from first base instead of just when they're in scoring position. That brings up Mark Tian. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Swings, hits this one very high in the air. A soaring drive. Goodbye, a two-run homer. Now with that two-run homer, they extend that lead to seven. That's the second time today he got his pitch and absolutely drove it out of the park. This could be a home run day. It looks as though they're able to lift that ball in there at bats. Now they're just so locked in. Seeing the ball it looks like a beach ball. Cardad will be their new pitcher. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from you. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. Great and he block. takes one in there, 0 and 1. Sometimes we talk about poor pitching performances. When you get them, you get monster offensive output, and that's what's happening. A line drive towards the hole, and it's caught by Ramirez. It's Damon at the plate. What a year for him, top five in homers. One out, nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Damon will foul that one away. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike two. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Well, the a smash between short and third. And he gets it down. That's his third hit. Three for three. So yeah, that brings Alexei back. Ramirez up. One of the best batting averages in the league. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Line drive. And Lee's able to get to that one. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now Just kind of lean back. in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Two men on and two men out. First pitch to Quinton. And it's fouled off. Ball. That misses one and one. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Strike Pulls down. him that time with the off-speed pitch, one and two. The one-two on its way. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. Now they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this 
There's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy again. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. And it's Derek Lee at the plate. He's batting 462 against Mike Burley. Played by Canerco. And he'll be tagged out along the first baseline. Third base. Number 16, Aramis Ramirez. And it's Aramis Ramirez in the box now. Last time up, flew out. Burley with a delivery. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And so Ramirez retired. And it's Giovanni Soto. He singled his last trip. First one to Soto. Here's the pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that Burley pitch. Oh, Gary, into the fourth inning right here now. They, they've gotten three hits in this one, so they've had a few base runners, but they haven't been able to lump them together to be able to generate any runs so far. The breaker makes it into the strike zone. It's two and one. Well, that kind of break on the curveball in that kind of location, it can lead to success. That was a good pitch right there. And here's a called strike on the off-speed pitch. Oh, man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. Three up, three down this half inning. The White Sox maintaining their lead. Five, six, seven hitters to get things started. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Beckham's in the box. He's gone nine for 20 over his career against the Cubs. First pitch on the way. Passes up a ball this time and swings for a strike that's in the dirt. The pitch. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. The pitch. And that one swung out and missed by Gordon Beckham. Well, the slider is his go-to pitch, and it's not surprising. You can see why. Two strikeouts in a row on that hard-breaking, nasty slider. One out, and Alex Rios at the plate. Top five AL in runs scored. And he starts Rios out. And that's by him on one. Dirt pitch swung on and missed. Not feeling real good about that one. Now Soto sets the target. And he lays off there, one and two. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. Gone, that's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. Some power hitter Steve can't hit that inside pitch. Not so there. Now that one up and in even tougher, but he rotated quickly, got the fat part of the bat to the ball, and drove it out. It's going to be Przinski. With the Chicago White Nobody on base, one away. Number 12, A.J. Przinski. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in because right now it's just all wow. over this yard. Now the power being shown off here. Another home run, and it's a highlight reel of power. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. This one to Soriano. He has to back up for it. He comes away with the out. And Mark Tiana has already homered twice in this one. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And 
two home runs in this one, and obviously they got a chance to run away with it. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0 and 2. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Slider swung on and missed, struck him out. That's going to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. Jeff Baker leading it off. Second base. Number 28, Jeff Baker. And the first pitch. On the ground to first. That looks like a single. That'll bring Ryan Terrio to the plate. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. Runner on first base. Nobody out. And Terrio ready. First pitch. And Burley gets it by. Called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. Uh, Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game. And, you know, they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. Here's the pitch. On the ground to short. It's gobbled up. One. Back to first. Not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. Well, they get the lead runner in second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. First pitch, here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch from Burley. Call strike, and it's quickly 0-2. Outstanding rotation on that pitch. Look at the mechanics for this pitcher. It comes out of his hand and just falls off the table. To left center, and it's through. That's a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Center fielder, number one, Kosuke well, That pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind next time around. We'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. And it's Kosuke Fugadomi at the plate. Hitting 250 lifetime against the White Sox. Strike two, Fukudomi is going to have to be careful here. The hitter has to be protective. He has to be able to fight off that tough pitch and put it in play for a base hit if he can. Still 0-2. Oh, Tried to get him to chase that curve. It's 1-2. and two. Well, This curveball just drops right off the table. It's a good pitch. Give the hitter credit for not chasing. And that's a base hit. Fukudomi on board. Terrio's trying for the plate, and Terrio comes home. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now, because they are hot. Runners at first and third, one away. Here's the pitch to Soriano. Good pitch from Burley, swung on and missed. Popped into foul territory down the left side. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. And here's the delivery. Big swing and a miss for Soriano. Strike three, and he's out. That's impressive break right there for throwing it at 77 miles per hour. Usually you start throwing it up that velocity. It doesn't break that much. And we've got Bird batting. Over his career, 2 for 12 record against Mike Burley. And the first pitch. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And that's going to do it in this half inning. And heading to the dugout, Mike Burley. He's limited the offense to just the one run over five. Good enough to have a lead in this ball game. And it... And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Jim Tomey to lead it off. Had a big shot last time out. Swinging the bat very well. Took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. He had good patience at the plate. Got a pitch he could drive. He deals. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1.
And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung yeah. late. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. And it's Johnny Damon now. Career average for him, 338 against the Cubs. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swing and a drive, deep left center. This one to Soriano. Able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Well, anytime you recognize a slider, you've got to be very patient with it. You can't be over anxious. You've got to stay back. And then when you see it good enough, let it fly. Well, he was able to ring up that K, and he needed it, and it got him out of the inning. Nothing doing here. Here's a quick glimpse of Lou Pinella looking on. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. Ball. Ball one. Boy, I'll tell you what, th th this guy's changeup may be one of the best in the game, Gary. I mean, just so deceptive to the hitter. A shot up the middle. Back up. And that'll retire Lee. You know, as, as a hitter, when you see a changeup like this, Gary, you really almost have to decide, I'm going to look for the fastball or I'm going to look for the changeup. But it's tough to sit on both pitches. And the Ramos wow. Ramirez up. Batting three for 13 lifetime off Mark Burley. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that gets down for a base hit. And that's going to bring Giovanni Soto up. And he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. First one to Soto. Here's the pitch. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, purpose pitch right there. He gets the strike on it, goes up and in, and it opens up the entire strike zone now. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. And in there, he's two for three today. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Number 28, solid two-strike approach at the plate right there. Down 0-2. He knew he had to protect. Found too much of the play with that curveball and base hit. First pitch on the way. Back up the middle. And it's through into center field. Base hit. Ramirez around third. Headed. Oh boy, they collide at the plate. And out. The catcher stood him up and made the play. Contact baseball. And the catcher wins this one. He's still got it. Well, there's no hesitation at all from the runner as he rounds third base. He sees the catcher standing there. He knows he's going to have to run him over. Lowers his shoulder, but he can't knock the ball away. Two down. Runners at first and second. Ontario ready. First pitch. He makes contact. Line drive. Throw is in time, and he is out at third. So they pick up no runs, three hits, and leave one. The White Sox still on top. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. Two for three thus far. Number 14, Paul Canerco. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike swung two. on and missed. Strike two. Hit a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. This one into the alleyway. Should be extra bases. And he ends now up at up second. Plate. That's a double. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. 
Second base occupied. Nobody out yet. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on a miss. Stone one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Grounder, Lee. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on-base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count. He knows the strike zone extremely well. First pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, a great pitch and a great strike right there to get that pitch down and away. Look, you can throw it out there consistently. You keep doing it, you're going to have a lot of success. You're Got out. him. One away. Now up, to the oh, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. Now Soto sets the target. Can't connect, it's 0 1. The pitch. Hard grounded to short. He's up with it. There's one. And two. They got both of them that time. So well, they pick up a couple of hits in the inning, but do not score. Hi, everybody, and it's stretched. And Hoff Power batting. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. The first pitch. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Damon, as he gets to it for the out. Let's take a look at the teams leading the league in home runs on our State Farm leaderboard. The D backs, number one. The Cubs, second. In third, the Rockies. The Dodgers, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. Well, anytime you're near the top of the league lead in home runs like this team is, you know that you're going to work a pitcher to death. These guys just won't go deep in the games because you have to focus so much. Every single pitch that you make one mistake, one of these guys is going to make you pay. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And Alfonso Soriano to that. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Here's the pitch to Soriano. And there's ball one. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning. And, you know, they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Swing and a miss, even at one. One one pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And he gets that one down. His second hit two for four now today. To and that brings up Marlon Byrd. Well, you would have to Number think with the speed that's on first base Marlon right now that they'll Bird. put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And it's going to be Quentin. And that one's put away to retire the side. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. He delivers. Swing and a miss by A.J. Perzinski, and the count is knotted up. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Swing and a miss, one and two. Well, you know this is a very difficult pitch to hit because there's no way the hitter can put any good wood on this particular pitch. The problem is it's so tough for the pitcher to keep hitting that location consistently. That's why you only see this pitch every once in a while. Base is empty, one out. First one to tee in, here's the pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Oh. 
smashes that one towards the shortstop. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And Jim Tomey struck out swinging last time. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. His lifetime average, 288 against the Cubs. And that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, he threw him that slider right there. Got him to swing a little bit early. Got to be a little more patient with that pitch. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. Well, a great job getting an 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste the pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. Swung on and hit. This one to Soriano. And there's the third out. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. And uh, here come the Cubs. This is the last half of the eighth. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Now Lee gets set. Change up just misses. 1-0. Well, uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Curveball just misses. Falls behind 2-0. Right. Comes up empty there. 2-1. And Burley sends the 2 1 pitch. And he's behind now, 3 and 1. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count, 3 and 1. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy is too dangerous for that. Fastball is in there, now 3 2. Well, that's a hitter's pitch right there. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. He did swing. Swing the bat. Come on. Hit in the air to left center. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. And that'll retire Lee. That's one away. One away as Aramis Ramirez gets up. He's singled in his last at bat. And here's the first one. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0-1. Look, oh, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Ramirez will foul that one away. Oh. And Ramirez fights off yet another during this at bat. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. That's a hard-fighting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in place. Swung right through it. And it's Giovanni Soto. Two for three thus far. A line drive toward short. Ramirez throws to first in time. That's three down. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. The White Sox eight. The Cubs one. It'll be batters two through four. Do up next. In the dugout, Lou Pinello. He's reflecting right now, not uh, likely a lot of positive reflections, however, in this game. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And here's the first one. Got him chasing that one low, strike one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Flied to right, and that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. 
Coming and that'll bring up Paul Konerko. Well, Alexi Ramirez's First season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks Paul compared to everybody Canerco. else. Third most in hits, fourth in doubles. Now, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. No one out and a runner on first. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, climbing the ladder on him right there, he just throws that fastball right by him up in the zone. Swing hits this one pretty well, deep right center. This one to Bird. And he gets over and grabs it with 11. I mean the back for the Chicago White Sox. And a runner on Carlos Quinton will hit a couple of RBIs thus far. Well, they find themselves ahead of this one, and obviously two big at bats from him so far in the game, driving it around with a base hit, and then the home run, driving the ball out of the ballpark. So, getting his pitches and doing some damage. A smash, gone. A two-run homer. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Well, that's number two on the day for him, Gary. That means that bat's right on target. Well, he's picking up the ball very well. Coming and back. Beckham's in the box. The Chicago White Sox, second baseman, number 15, Gordon Beckham. Base is empty with one away. And here's the delivery. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball, strike one. And Steve, uh, we've watched them just dominating here in this game, the pitching unable to find the outs. Well, that home run may be the exclamation point on this one, Gary. He got him. That's nine Ks now. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in K-Cam. And I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. And Alex Rios up. He's hit 263, right, lifetime off the Cubs. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect 0-1. Hit a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one to Soriano. And there's the third out. They add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Jeff Baker leading it off. Base hit his last time. Number 28, Jeff Baker. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have gone and gotten them a little bit earlier. Here's the first pitch on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for out number one. Well, said, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. Takes that one low and outside on one. And Terrio makes good contact here. And that falls for a base hit. And uh, that'll bring up uh, Michael Hoffbauer. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Over five career at bats, he's zero off the White Sox. And so Hoff Power retired. Now down to their final out right here, Gary. So made it looking pretty dire at this point. And you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. Here it comes. And he takes the ball, one and oh. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And Ramirez fields the ball. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. 
And we come to that point of our broadcast where we honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, the heat was flowing in this game today. This pitcher came right out there with that great fastball and challenged these hitters. He did give up the one earned run, but the offense gave him just enough support that he needed to get a very impressive win. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do, but when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. This is Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time, as good as we did. Then you're all set. See you next time.